today we're in the veggie garden and we've got a bit going on here you can see some garlic in the background you can see some lettuce which is the pick and come again type you might even be able to see a few tomato seedlings but what we're looking at today is how to plant zucchinis or courgettes and instead of planting them in the garden we're going to grow this one in a container just to show you how it's done there's a little bit of a theory that zucchini or courgette seedlings are hard to transplant we don't find that to be the case here's our seedling we've grown it from seed and if you want to know how to grow zucchinis from seed you could simply watch our pumpkin video because it's the same way basically you get the seeds you stick them into the pot you keep them in a warm spot keep them a little bit moist and they'll germinate and grow you'll be left with a seedling like this and a leftover seed case so the first thing we need to do is to dig a hole in here about the same size as this pot. You can reach down into the soil with your hand and dig the hole. In this pot we've got normal potting mix or compost. We've also got some aged cow manure and we've got some mushroom compost. And mushroom compost has usually got a little bit of chicken manure in it. So this is going to be great. You simply turn your pot upside down take the zucchini out. If you look carefully you can see the root system here. Drop it down into there. Backfill around it. And really that's it. All that's left to do now is to water it in with a liquid seaweed fertiliser. Now that we've watered it in we're going to mulch around the plant and for that we're going to use some sugarcane mulch. By mulching around the plant we're retaining moisture in the soil and if there's one thing that zucchinis do like it's a moist soil. We're also using a self-watering pot so this large pot has a reservoir down below it so it's going to retain a little bit more moisture than if we weren't using a self-watering pot. Simply means we don't have to water so often. So there we have it we've planted the zucchini We'll come back in a few weeks and show you how it's going. In the meantime, we'll water the plant if we have dry weather. If it rains, we won't need to water it at all. You'll notice that this pot is out in full sun because zucchinis do like a lot of sun. In the pot, it's also lifted up off the ground. It's got room to grow because it's a large container and that means it should be less prone to powdery mildew than it would be if we were growing them close together or if we had a number of plants in the one container. And here we are about two weeks after planting out our zucchinis and you can already see that they're starting to put on flowers. We're getting good signs of growth and we think that in about two or three weeks time we'll actually have our first zucchini flowers. Zucchinis do have male and female flowers this one here is the male flower, it doesn't have a bulb below the flower. This one is the female flower, it has a bulb below the flower. If you need to, you can take a paintbrush and take the pollen from the male flower and put it onto the female flower to ensure pollination. And very quickly, after the flowers have formed and been pollinated, you'll start to see the zucchinis appearing. These are already reaching a good size. We'll let them get to about double this, then they're ready to harvest. You can keep harvesting your zucchinis right through the season. Remember to keep the plants moist, water them with a liquid seaweed fertiliser and keep them in a sunny position. That's it for growing zucchinis. It's easy, they're a productive plant and you can grow them on a balcony, a patio or in a courtyard in a container like we're doing here. Good luck with growing your zucchinis and good luck with your gardening.